Later confusion of the B and D. Today I want to talk to mummies who really struggle to help their children differentiate between the letters D and B, the B and the D. I use a few stories that really help my kids to differentiate between these two letters very easily and not to forget it again. My little girl used a totally different story than my little boy and associated with this story where she did not associate with the story that I used for my boy at all. So I'm going to swap around the camera and share with other mummies stories and methods they can use to um, tell their kids and to help their kids understand which letter is the letter D and which letter is the letter B. Let's turn around the camera and see. Now the first story that I used with my little girl was the um, story of a little pirate girl. If you have a girl, you can use a little pirate girl or a little pirate boy that went in search for a treasure. Now the story goes like this, that the pirate goes in search for a treasure of donuts. They want to find a cave full of donuts. And that's why my little girl liked the story because she loves some sweet, tasty stuff. So let's first use the little girl as it was my girl who really associated with this story. So if the little girl, uh, girl, pirate girl went in search with her spying glass and she came to the cave and she first find a donut, then she know that the entire cave is still full of donuts to sweep up and put into her treasure chest and take away. But should other pirates have found the cave full of donuts first, the only thing that she will find is the broom that they left for her to show that they already swept up all the donuts. So they only leave her the broomstick and the broom with only one donut left. So if the little girl go in search, let's put the little girl here and she, here she comes. She searches to search for her treasure and what does she find? Dumps, she bumps into a d -d 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 donut. The round donut came first and therefore it's for the letter D. D, -d, -d for donut and then she will leave a broomstick because she found the donut first which means the entire cave is still full of donuts which she can sweep up and put in her treasure chest to take home but should the little girl come with her spine glass and dumps she bumps into the broomstick first the b b b for broomstick and there's only one donut against the broomstick she knew that there was other pirates who already stole her entire um, treasure of donuts and there's nothing left in this cave so if she came and she bumps into the broomstick first the b b b the stick of the broom and saw only one donut she knew that there was already other pirates that stole her treasure but if she find the donut first and she dumps bump into the donut first she know that she found the entire treasure of the, 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 the donuts first around donut and she can leave her broomstick and use the broom to sweep up all the donuts and put it in the treasure so now we need come to the practical part where they will have their page where they read or they have to write. Here comes the little um, pirate girl and she will search and search and dooms, she bumps into. What does she find? First the broomstick for b -b -b for broomstick and the only donut that they left for her. So the B first the broomstick and then the only donut. But if she search and she dooms, bumps first into the round donut she know it's a da 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 donut. She already found the entire um, uh, the treasure that she can put in her, her chest. 
Here she bumps into what does she find first? First the round donut, de 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 for de. And here if she goes further, here she finds the b b b, the broomstick first. So it's a b b b for broomstick. I hope this also helps other mummies to differentiate um, between the B and the D for their little children. So my second story, which my boy mostly associated with, goes about a little boy who loved to play ball, cricket, with a cricket ball and his bat. So when you have the boy and he play outside, the story goes like this, he one day hit the ball so hard with his bat that it went through the open window into the house and rolled deeper into the house. And he knew to get the ball back to play further with his bat and his ball, he had to go into the um, house and first he had to um, turn the door knob, the de de for door knob, to push open the door to fetch the ball inside. So you first, for the B, B, the letter B, you first have the bat and then the ball to hit the ball. If the ball went into the house to fetch the ball, you first have to turn the D, D door knob and then push open the door. So when the child gets to the practical part, when the boy um, comes here, a boy, little boy, come and what do we find first? We first find the bat and then the ball. So it's a B, a B, a B for first the bat, first the bat and then the ball. If he goes further, what does he find? He first find the door knob, the round door knob to turn and then he can push open the door. Run, 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 run. First, he find the door knob, the de de for door knob, and then he can push open the door. If you run into the house, it's first the bat and then the ball to further play outside with his cricket bat. I hope this helps a lot of mummies as it helped my little boy. Hi, right, just real quick, if you really like my videos, please subscribe down below and also make sure to hit the bell button to get any notifications for any future videos.